Okay, this video blog is going to be about Autism Speaks, the corrupt organization that aims to eliminate and get rid of autism altogether, including anyone who has it. Yes, I just told you, eliminate it. That's what they plan to do. Eliminate, get rid of, silence, hello, yep. I gotta say something. I've been boycotting them for a long, long time and speaking out for a longer period of time than that. Mostly in real life. Not really too much online. Only a few times on Twitter. A few times on Facebook. And uh, I'm also on the spectrum myself. Which is kind of uh, surprising to some viewers they don't even know. But hey, what else? Well, it wasn't uh, expected of me. So, okay. Well, the first thing they do is put out misinformation about autism and about what it's like to live with it and the struggles one has to go through, including what the parents have. They, uh, I don't want to say it, or I actually, besides they, I've actually been harassed by them the last time I did speak out on Twitter. It was a rowdy bunch of individuals, and then they blocked me. It only ended up being somewhat about 200 tweets, back and forth, ping pong. And they ended up uh, getting the ping pong ball in the face and blocked me, because they could not back up their claims with hard evidence. And I told them I wasn't going to be threatened, I wasn't going to be silenced, I wasn't going to be told to SHUT THE FUCK UP, amongst other things. I kept speaking out. And uh, I don't know if they blocked me already, but... <laughs> Maybe in due time they probably are. Maybe they already have. I haven't bothered to check the accounts. Their form of autism awareness is misinformation. Telling parents to kill their sons or daughters. Yes, to kill them. They have a complete fucking lack of understanding of the, of the spectrum and the people that run the organization who should be fucking sued to hell. They're not even on the spectrum themselves. In all honesty, they're all ableists. They treat autism as a disease, a condition that people need to feel sorry about and that we can't use our own voices to speak out for ourselves wrong we can I am I've been doing it since 2005 surprisingly and you wonder why I never quit freedom of speech motherfucker freedom of expression freedom of choice freedom of thought and the right to an opinion regardless yeah isn't that funny they want to silence us well this video aims to denounce them for the wrongful motherfuckers they are. And they're bad. What they want to do to those with autism, eliminate, can go on, or get rid of, could go along the lines of uh, murdering, harassing, threatening to silence, slander, making false accusations, and I mean numerous, numerous, numerous false accusations with almost... 0.0.0.0% to back up such claims. No such proof whatsoever. They cannot back up their claims at all. And <laughs> that's easy to refute. Their claims can be refuted very easily. And yeah. What that organization does, they bully, berate, belittle, dehumanize, harass, threaten, intimidate and torment the parents and the individuals on the spectrum that is what they do if you don't see it that way maybe you gotta look for the other side and that's why the overlay that is jumping north south sorry <laughs> east and west or whichever way you produce we uh perceive that to be i might have got it completely wrong as i often do or sometimes I get it right. I don't know. I don't got a fucking compass in front of me. <laughs> uh, 
that overlay is there to shed support and to go red for autism. That's why I'm doing this video. I will never go blue for autism because you know what blue means? Depression. It means the blues, something bad. As well as I interpret it that way, others may interpret it other ways. Maybe anything other than blue is actually good. Maybe pink. Pink is actually anti-bullying, so red and pink would actually be quite fine. But I just chose red to, you know, combat them. And that's a legitimate force. I'm tired of seeing others get silenced by these motherfuckers. Try to get eliminated, threatened, intimidated, berated, belittled, bullied, tormented, slandered, or defamed if you want to. Whichever the one is in the form of writing and online. Yeah, I often get the two mixed up, so bear with me. That organization needs to be shut down. Or sued into oblivion. They aren't there for anyone on the spectrum. They're there to eliminate it. And to eliminate those on the spectrum. I can't say this enough. And before you think that I'm actually reading the script beside me, I'm actually looking at the viewfinder to make sure <laughs> I'm actually not off the picture. Because if I put it back and I step too far back, you may not hear me. If I step too close, it may be far too loud and you may just get my fucking nose. I don't want that. Do you? No! I took a tip from YouTube about not focusing the camera that close. So nobody wants to see that. They want to see the area around. So I'm the Creator Studio actually had some good advice and I've been using it for the longest possible time. Sometimes, well, maybe not. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, that organization is just bad news, bad information, mis disinformation. Yeah. You shouldn't take it seriously. And here's another part. They relate to fringe groups in one way of uh, a lot. Vaccines cause autism and other disability and Asperger's and anything related on the spectrum? Ah, uh, no, 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 they don't. No, they don't. Otherwise, half our world would be uh, autistic and would have so many problems communicating and so many unbelievable problems managing their daily lives without flipping out and damaging their homes. If you've ever seen a meltdown, or specifically an autistic meltdown, which I've undergone probably at least 50, 50! You didn't know? What? Oh, okay, because I never talk about it. 50 over a period of, uh, fuck, since I was born. I also have a bit of Tourette's, if you didn't know. Never officially diagnosed, but <laughs> I've always had a horrible tick. And I do a very good job of controlling it. You probably never even noticed. Yeah, maybe I should also call it coming out. Fuck that. Whatever the fuck that was. So, yeah. Don't let no one silence you. You're on the spectrum. Don't let them silence you. Speak out against them. That's what I recommend. Speak the fuck out. Voice your opinion. Yell it out. Scream it out in public. Boycott Autism Speaks! Just do something at least. That will make sure word gets out. Even if you gotta put a large bumper sticker on your car, something on one of your bike's fenders, if you got the large uh, opaque fenders that are about a half moon shape, you've seen those. They're nice. I'm considering getting, I don't know. No, I wouldn't be able to fit my specific bike. Well, maybe it will. Maybe I can actually uh, get a Dremel tool and cut it, you know. Maybe I can get it to fit that way, but. <laughs> Just saying. So, yeah, bumper sticker, window sticker, window of your home maybe, window of your company, business, small business, big business, big box store, it doesn't matter. And maybe child care centers that specialize, adult care centers maybe too, because you grow up autistic, you can't get rid of it, there's no fucking cure, and you live with it for the rest of your life, and you deal with it. And that organization and most of the stupid stigma inducing society not all of them, though. Uh, they do not like different. I'm different. I don't look different. You can't tell I'm autistic by looking at me. You'd have to see what I was doing. If anything ever happened that made it outside and physically manifested. But that hasn't happened yet. 
on video. And I'm thankful. The square is also evidence of the Tourette's, so... Yeah. Oh, did I... I think I lost track of mentioning that. I do not use a script when doing this video. No screen reader, no script, no fuck all. It's one shot, one take. If I fuck up, I redo, or I splice it. You've probably seen a few times I've done that. Because I screwed up at least 16 times doing the video. And in between that, i uh, accidentally shutting off my machine. <laughs> Don't hit the power button. Especially if you have a window manager or something programmed to automatically shut it down as soon as the button's pressed. And you don't want to do that. And I've done it mo no, a multitude of times. Alright, I might have got gone off the uh, racetrack a few times and into the weeds, but I'm back. And uh, yeah, feel free, to spirit, feel free to share this video. Do it. Do it! It's better. Share it with all your uh, friends that are on the spectrum too. Encourage them to speak out. Put a sign outside your door. Anything. Even on a shopping cart if you take the TTC. Even on the back of a jacket. You wear most often. It's good. Because April is Autism Awareness Month. I don't know if I mentioned that again. but I'm not going to cut that part out either. Anyways, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I've always got a video coming up. I have old footage I have to upload. Uh, music. And a few other things some cats so yeah cheers and uh stay safe don't forget to exercise otherwise uh you don't want to end up in hospital due to complications i'm serious <laughs>